Hey there, sports fans. Welcome back to 100 Sport, the channel that's all about the thrill, the excitement, and the drama of the world of sports. Today, we've got a juicy topic that's been buzzing around the track and field community. Grab your popcorn. Because we are diving into the latest beef between two incredible athletes, Shark Harry Richardson and Gabby Thomas. If you've been living under a rock and missed this showdown, don't worry, we've got you covered. So here's the scoop, folks. At the USA 4x100 relay camp, tensions flared when Gabby Thomas voiced her frustration about Shark Harry Richardson's constant tardiness. And you know Shark Harry, she doesn't back down from anything. In a fiery clap back, she suggested that the 4x100 relay team should be all about 100 meters runners. But hold up, there's a twist. Gabby, as we all know, is a 200 meter specialist. Could Shark Harry be onto something, or is this just a case of track and field drama? Let's break down the pros and cons of Shark Harry's bold statement, shall we? Starting off, a relay team is like a symphony, with each athlete playing a crucial role. Tradition has it that the first leg goes to the best starter, setting the tone for the race. But does that mean the second leg, believed to be the longest, should be reserved for a 200 meters runner? Not necessarily. The second leg is just as long as the other three, and what's crucial here is a mix of speed and stamina. That's where a 200 meters specialist like Gabby could shine. And then comes the curve, my friends. The third leg is all about navigating that tricky curve, enter the masterful curve runner often a 200 meter specialist, a leg just perfect for Gabby. But wait, we can't forget about the anchor leg, the one that requires composure under pressure. Now, this is where Shark Harry's name comes into play. She's known for her fiery spirit and that can-do attitude perfect for nailing the final stretch. Remember the amazing Alison Felix? She was a 200 and 400 meter specialist, and she was always a vital part of the USA 4x100 relay team makeup. Sometimes, experience trumps all, even if an athlete specializes in a certain event. Being on the big stage, the Olympics, and world championships requires nerves of steel, and those who've been there before often have that extra edge. Now, let's not forget the golden rule of relay races those baton passes. You could be the fastest team, but if those passes aren't smooth as butter, you might find yourself falling short. And let's be honest, we've seen the USA team stumble a few times on this front. So, what's the verdict, fellow sports enthusiasts? Could Shark Harry be onto something with her, 100 meters runner's only suggestion? Or is it all just a friendly debate that adds a dash of excitement to the track and field scene? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. That's a wrap for today's episode on the Shark Hara vs. Gabby showdown. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest sports buzz. Until next time, stay sporty, stay sassy, and keep cheering for those lightning-fast relay teams. This is 100 Sports signing off. Your ultimate sports destination.